Hi friends and welcome. Today we've got a very special adventure coming your way. We're headed to the middle of the state of Michigan to fish the Titabawassee River with an old friend, Bob Ison from Another Limit Guide Service and some brand new friends, Ruth and Richard Flugie. Now together we're going to head up the river and fish for smallmouth and walleye and crappie and largemouth and pike. <laughs> you get the idea, we're going fishing for whatever's biting. Ruth and Richard won a trip fishing with me through a PBS pledge drive and we're finally getting a chance to go out and do that trip. And friends, I have to tell you that no matter where you go, good people make great trips and that's exactly what happened on this day. Hey, I'm your host, Kyle Randall. This is my Wilderness Journal and we're headed up the river with friends old and new right now. How did you come to be in a boat with Bob Ison and Kyle Randall? What did the winner get? The winner, that's me. <laughs> oh, this was first prize? Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> we got a fishing trip with Kyle Randall. And how did you do that, dear? By donating for uh, your Wilderness Journal. Oh, that this is a pledge yes. gift from WCMU. Yep. To the PBS Network. And yep. we've been trying to do this for over a year now, and finally, it's not raining. I it's know. not yeah, it snowing. Yes. <laughs> Flooded. So we're going to head out with Bob on the Titabawassee River and catch a bunch of fish. Wonderful. That's our plan. Well, and if we don't, we'll, we'll blame Bob. Okay. <laughs> okay. After some introductions and getting to know each other a little bit, I found out that neither Ruth nor Richard had ever fished in fast water for smallmouth, so Bob decided we'd charge up to the dam, we'd try that very first thing, see could we get him on a couple of bronze backs before the sun even got up. And after a short run, Bob anchored us up by the dam and then started showing Ruth how to work the fast water with a jig. Just a little jig. And we're going to kind of work that all the way back down through there. Oh! Woo! Woo! Look at what I got! Woo! Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> Throw that right back in there. <laughs> Well, the locals didn't seem too impressed yet, but I was pretty sure the flugies were getting a kick out of it. At least Ruth was. What do you got going on here? What? Slow down, slow down. No, 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 no. Just hold on to the pole, let him fight a little bit. That's what you came for. It was that fight right there. There's a nice yeah. smallmouth bass. Right. What do you think? This is good. This is good? Yeah, That's like, okay? Yeah. There'll be more to come. And Bob obviously knew what he was talking about because there were plenty more to come. In fact, on nearly every cast, every pass down through the whitewater, someone would get a hit. Then it was just a matter of whether or not they managed to get the hook set. Oh, more. Did I get oh, you? I got one. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish. They fight really, really well. Good. As far as I'm concerned, the best fighter in the river. It's a different fight than... Uh, oh, yeah. After releasing that one, Richard threw back out, got an immediate hit, and tried to set the hook again. Watch your eye. <laughs> it's good. This full contact fishing here. <laughs> Not for sissies. You're doing fine. Only this time, he yeah, nearly got a camera guy. Ruth? Yeah. Are you having fun yet? Well, the locals still didn't look too impressed, but Ruth was definitely getting the hang of this. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, looks like a pretty nice bass to me. This is okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> watch your technique, buddy. I gotta watch your technique. Yeah. You'll have to get used to her catching more fish than you. It's the way it always works. The way it always works. Hey, this is better than painting the house. It was definitely better than painting the house or any other kind of work, and we were just getting warmed up. Well, that didn't take very long. Ruth and Richard were already getting the feel of this fast water fishing for smallies, so Bob just kept bumping us across the face of the dam, setting up on another hole, and as soon as we did,
Hit him! Hit him! That's a big old smallie right that's there. That's a small mouth, huh? That is yeah. a, that's a yeah, full right grown right one. Right, right here. Open. Hold him right up. Right there right you right go. Right. What do yeah. you think? Yeah. That's yeah. kind of all right, isn't it? A little oh, different. Awesome. You see how quick that was? Yeah. As soon as they hit. <laughs> right the water. If they're setting up there, they're only there to get stuff breaking the current and looking for food. So yeah. they don't take long. Isn't that a nice fish? It is beautiful. beautiful. Probably four, four and a half pounds. That's a dandy smallmouth anywhere you go. That's right. That was the kind of smallmouth we were hoping to see, and Richard was definitely getting the hang of this as well. This was turning into just a perfect day, and hopefully it'd keep going. That's right. Yeah, as soon as the hips basically want to tighten up and keep up with the current, just clear those other rocks. It was just about then that I recall thinking they both have this down now. They're really getting into it. It was also about then that I realized Ruth was just a little bit competitive. Are you really complaining? <laughs> that looks like a pretty good fish to me. Are you ready to put it back? No, but no. I will. <laughs> All right, throw okay. it. Yeah? Nice. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? Fishing is fun. Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> fish were coming now on almost every cast no sooner had ruth released her smallmouth and richard had a white bass on they were having such a great time i was laughing having a good time just watching them but i did notice like i said earlier that every time richard caught a fish ruth seemed to be working that much harder and it reminded me just what a great equalizer the out of doors is and how much fun everybody can have fishing because friends, trust me when I tell you, the fish don't care. You have him or does he have you? I think he has me. Let him fight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, nice fish down there, I think. What do you think? I think so. I think so, too. Yeah, that might be a chicken dinner winner there. Oh. I'm afraid of losing it. Well, that's kind of the fun of it, right? <laughs> I got a nice one. Oh. Huh? Scoop it. Pull it upstream. Up, up, up. Oh, up. Okay. Yep, up. Let her, let her turn the fish. Turn the net around. Richard, turn the net around. Turn it around? Yep, that way. Like this? No, yeah, just put it in the water now. <laughs> there. Now pull it up, head up and upstream, lift the net. That's all that's done. Nice job, team. You gotta be at least a nine pounder, right? Oh, <laughs> well not yet, but by the time you get home. <laughs> all right. Are you having fun yet? Yes. 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 Are you glad you came along? I am. Well, I am too. Can't beat it, man. You put it back? There you go. All right, now you need a break. You got to have a snack. You want to sit down and relax, oh, right? There we go. We can do snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I'd keep fishing if I was you. That's true. We, you can eat it all the time. You, you're, we can snack anytime. That's right. Yes. All right. Well, go get another one. Congratulations. Right. And after she released that fish, Ruth accused Richard of taking her fishing oh, pole. I just been pretty lucky. Actually, hers was the other way. That's oh, not man. it. Yours was reeling the other way. He didn't take your pole. But I love the look on your face when you thought he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just in case you thought I was wrong about that old competitive thing. <laughs> and speaking of the competition. I got one! Well, you are just beating these fish up. Do it too bad for 
rookie. I don't know if that rookie thing applies, but <laughs> I think you're doing pretty good. It was about then that Ruth got our first largemouth bass. See how big around that mouth is? Yep. The black stripe down it. Totally different with fish. They're both bass, you know. Those will get five pounds too. Right. Well, that's another one you've, you've caught. What is that? That smallmouth and. I should have been keeping track. Crappie and white bass and now largemouth. And a pike. And a pike. <laughs> Are you ready to just sit down and take a break now? No. <laughs> Good for you. We were catching all kinds of fish, and fortunately for Richard, they weren't all coming on Ruth's side of the boat. That's well done. Thank you. Well, I didn't, that was a lot of fun. We were catching all kinds of fish, all sorts of species that neither Ruth nor Richard had ever caught before, and more importantly, at least to me, they were having a good time doing it. It wasn't even nine in the morning yet, and we'd already caught three or four different kinds of fish. We decided just to move over a little bit, try another spot. This was turning into the kind of day we had hoped for when we scheduled this over a year ago. We had backed off the dam a little bit to a little different spot, and Ruth had on yet another kind of fish. This time, she'd caught a white crappie, and no sooner than she'd released that one, and Richard had another smallmouth. The fish really were coming just that fast. More crappie and smaller bass, but so far at least, none of the really big smallies this area is known for. So Bob and I decided, you know, we'll pitch in, try to find a couple of those bigger fish, sort of show them how it's done. At least that's what we thought. I told you anybody can catch those big ones. There, there's a little better fish. He's working his way up. Do a little jig in here. There you go. Tell him what to do. Now see right there, I should have known better than to give Bob a hard time about the little fish he was catching, because... Hey. He was hiding up in there. Yes, that's what I get for thinking. <laughs> it was time to move. Bob backed us off the dam, slid down to the first sandbar, and as soon as he dropped the anchor... I'm used to the big old... What do you got? Bass Uh-oh, that's a sideways fish. Ruth had just added a walleye to her expanding list. Yeah. yeah. Well, throw it out there and get another one. He'll be back. A little farther from the boat next time. I'm just suggesting. <laughs> I'm going to throw it out of the boat. I didn't make any more suggestions. <laughs> the day was finally starting to calm down a little bit. We had drifted down away from the dam far enough. We could hear each other a little better. We were casting crankbaits, hoping to pick up a few walleye or whatever else was biting. And to tell the truth, I was happy to have just a oh bit of a yeah, break. She says. Got the oh yeah going. That is for a minute. Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Catch and release right there. Nicely done. The day was starting to wear on a bit, but the fish were still biting, so Bob decided we'll just work our way down the river, we'll stop, throw a few casts at each place he knew generally held fish, and friends, I have to tell you, it's good to have somebody that knows the water. I really want to bomb them out there, try to cover water. Okay. 
You got a hold of the pole, your feet are set. Yep. You're ready for the big one. Yep. All right. We'll hold our breath. <gasps> Bob was helping Richard. I was coaching Ruth, and I was thinking it's about time to put this day in the box. <laughs> Except for I'd forgot about Ruth's yeah. competitive streak. Yeah. He's making noise. You don't suppose he'd take your fish, would he? Oh, that's not really that's not really a fish. That's a tiny, tiny walleye. How do you get how did you get that on that hook? Well, you know what I tell Bob? Any guy can catch some great big ones. And one was a little tiny mouth. Those are tough to get a hook in. He didn't count. She don't seem too impressed with you. We want one that counts. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, now the gauntlet had been thrown down, we were just about ready to wrap it up, but Ruth had decided the next fish was going to be the winner, so I decided, yeah, maybe I'll help out just a little. <laughs> well, it is my show. I win. I got a fish. Here, That's you play What are you doing, a camera and fishing at the same time? <laughs> I'm a multitasker. Haven't you never heard of that? Oh, it's a little bigger than my honey's. It's just a little bit bigger than the one he caught, huh? Yeah, and wheel it right over to Bob. That's right. Does that mean you won? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to call it. Let me, let me. You don't understand this game at all. <laughs> let me start again. Does that mean you won? I did. Well, of course you did. Of course I did. <laughs> I think she needs to get out a little more often. She doesn't understand how this works at all. She's learning. Yep. She was definitely learning, <laughs> and so was Richard. They were learning how to catch a lot of different kinds of fish in different ways, things they'd never tried before, and we were all having a great time doing it. Unfortunately, we were just about out of time, but we weren't done, not just yet. In fact, now Ruth was coaching Bob. No. I think you got it, Bob. You think you, think you got a fish now, huh? Well, oh yeah, mama. You just never know in here. Oh, well, that's the fun part of fishing here, though, right? You can't get enough of it. Small mouth. Party. Turn around and, and, and uh, show that to Richard over there. I, I don't think, he may have forgotten the first lesson. <laughs> what they look like? <laughs> we might have to stick you on this that's side. That's a walleye right there. I'm getting it down. <laughs> Good thing you won this trip. <laughs> Good thing I did. Good thing I did. What's, what's all that noise back here? I got one, Carl! Uh-huh. Is that what that ooh is all about? Don't yep. fall in or it'll have you. Yep. It felt bigger. But he's okay. He's a little fighter. There. Nice. nice. See, that's how it's done, honey. Oh, did you catch a fish? <laughs> Read my lips. Ruth, it's family program. <laughs> okay. <laughs> little kids watch this. That's, throw why it, I, that's why I didn't say it out loud. Throw it back in the river. And I don't mean Richard. Hey, <laughs> a big walleye. All right. Oh, yeah. Look at the size. It looks like a small, small mouth to me, but if oh. you want that to be a big walleye, I guess okay. it's, this is America. You can, can do that. We can go that route. <laughs> We're catching just about one ever than here. Hey, honey. Yeah. See, I can take these off. Oh, did you catch a fish? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are bad. And yes. Just in case you were wondering, now we were having it's a fun. Whipper snipper. But it's a fish. Oh, it is too. And it is bigger than my man's. Well, there is your fish. We got to hold it a little closer to that. There, it's a huge. Uh -huh. Bob Ison taught me that. That's why. <laughs> why don't you put that one back here? Maybe it'll grow up. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> He's pretty though. Yes, he is. Yeah, no falling in now. This is a non-swimming trip. Okay. That's nice. You're getting the hang of this. That's I about am. A, I am. I am. About a whole bunch more fish than I've caught. That's because you're giving up your spots, guys. Well, that's okay, though. Oh, oh, oh. I got her pole. Already. Yeah, had her pole. I might as well. Is that your excuse, <laughs> Mr. Professional? Oh. Throw her pole in the river. That's good. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, and remember when I said I thought we were done? Yeah. Oh, yeah, a little, oh, little bit. Another walleye. I don't think so, brother. I think Man, that's pretty good small. Get you had him crank down a little. Give him a little bit of slack there. Okay. There. Nice. That's all you. Look at that fish, eh? That's a little bit better. Good job, honey. Thank you. Come on, hold still, guy. 
It's your thumb right in his mouth. Right down right his throat. Mouth. Okay. A little more control that way. Look at that. Yeah. Like I knew what I was doing. Well, I'd say you do. <laughs> Look at that, honey. He's nice. That is a nicer small mouth. Yeah. And with that, it was just about a day. However, we did stop just before we got back to the boat launch, and they actually let me catch a fish. I had to do it while the boat was moving, but they let me catch one. <laughs> Still got the motor running. That's all right. This is pretty good fish, I think. At least they pull a lot harder when you're going 20 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, man. What do you think? Nice. Is that okay, Ruth? It's okay. All right. All right. There! One nice. large smallmouth. Nice fish. To go with nothing on it. <laughs> like lunch. Mr. Bob, on behalf of uh, Richard and Ruth, and certainly public television even, thanks, buddy. This has been a great day. It Glad really, you enjoyed really it. Has. It has been a blast. Put this one back. You'll be here when the next guy or gal gets here. And just as scrappy, because it's a smallmouth. It has been a day. Thank you, my friend. Anytime. Well, say that. <laughs> He'll have another. How many deductions on your taxes? That's all right. What a great day of fishing. Thanks again, Ruth and Richard Flugey, for going along and sharing your time and for supporting public television. And thanks, too, to Bob Ison of Another Limit. Folks, you have to know, without you, our friends, our viewer family, there wouldn't be any Wilderness Journal. There wouldn't be any public television. And we truly hope to see some of you out there enjoying the great outdoors. And I hope you have some of your friends with you. Anytime you can get out with good people, the time is that much more memorable. Hey, I hope we see some of you out there doing just that. I hope you have the chance to share a cup and a fire, maybe a few fish stories with us. And if for some reason we don't run into you out there, well then I hope to see you right back here so we can share another adventure from my Wilderness Journal.